All right, man, we back. More C Sports Talk, man. So I'm still kind of cleaning up the last few draft spotlights. I'll be doing a mock draft today at my other channel's backup channel, Goodfellas Sports TV 2.0. Or you can hit the link in the description for Sportscaster. We're doing a mock draft, and then I do a live stream on the Pistons tomorrow. And I guess if anybody care, I do the Washington Football Team Alliance uh, review game, hopefully sometime tonight. But hit that subscribe button, check out the draft spotlight. Excuse me, and also check out the Detroit Pistons Talk playlist. And we talking about, ooh, I just keep finding gems. I think his name is Josh Green from Arizona um, Wildcats. Uh, he's from Australia. Shout out to Sydney, Australia. Uh, so let's talk about him. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And you talk about baby Clay Thompson. This is him. He don't shoot. I don't know what Clay Thompson shot in college. So, but he reminds you catch and shoot coming off the coming off the screen shoot. You know Reggie Miller, Rip Hamilton was a mid range assassin, but. The great coming off the screen catch and shoot guys. I mean, Michael Red was a guy that probably would easily be an all star in the league today. He was probably born 10 years too early. Uh, shout out to Michael Red, but not to the Ohio State fuck guys. But um, phenomenal player, Josh Green, man. Uh, he has some injury concerns. Obviously, some of the knocks on him is um, not being able to finish, um, not being able to create his own shot. Not concerned about that. He can put the ball on the on the on the, on the ground, escape dribble. He a good slasher to the rim, uh, pretty good athlete too. So I think he a little bit better athlete than Clay Thompson. But he a three and D guy, catch and shoot coming off the screen, and it's a lot of those guys in the draft this year. I mean, if you need knockdown shooters, you talking about Sadiq Bay, Aaron Neesum, um, Hale Burton. Uh, as long as his, his stroke kind of translates to the league, um. It's a lot of these guys that can shoot at the kid from, uh, was it Stanford or Tyrell, whatever his name is. It's a lot of guys. If you need shooting in this draft and you, this is the best year to kind of be a playoff team in the draft. The Lakers are stupid for trading that 28 pick away. It's the best team. It's the best time to be in that 20 to 30 range. It's so many good guys there, man. But this guy, Green, he can finish a butter rim. Um, he can shoot the blood off the ball, catch a shoot. Um, he can slash and get to the bucket. Terrific defender. Um, obviously, you got to tie some things up defensively on the next level, not take too many chances, but knockdown shooter. So I heard he got some back injuries, some issues there, but, man, somebody get him in the 20 range, they going to be happy because all he got to do is do what he did in college. So if somebody like the Clippers get him, even though they don't have a draft pick, they suck him in, kick him out, and he shoot it, he can do that. He can get off. He can he can defend right now in this league. He can cut back door. If if a team like Denver end up with a guy like this, and they develop Bola Bola, and they develop you know um what's the other kid they got over there Michael Michael Porter Jr. They develop those guys and they get this guy. It's gonna be lights out. This dude can play right now in this league um because he's a knockdown shooter. This is the best year man to be be in the back of the draft man. I think I would prefer to be in the back of the draft this year mid to back than to the front. It's a lot of uncertainty in the front. At least when I look at the Theo guy from France, when I look at the Tyrell cap from what Stanford or Oregon, whichever he's from, when I look at Sadiq Bay, Aaron Neesom, Tyrese Maxey, Kira Lewis, I like a lot of them better than a lot of guys at the top, to be honest. But Josh Green is a guy that look out for. If I was to trade back into the draft, it would be for a guy like him. For him. Because he he's a guy that all he got to do is Stay healthy, which is if it's a fifth on that one. All I got to do is improve. What do he do right now? He's a poor man's Clay Thompson. Now, does he have some things they can do better than Clay Thompson? He gets to the rim and finish to the rim. He can he can slash better than Clay Thompson can. All he got to get get into a, if he gets to San Antonio or or a team that's no don't know how to use his his stuff like they use Reggie and Rip Hamilton or Rip, or Michael Red. He this dude gonna be a star. This dude is gonna be an all star. You know what I'm saying and. You know, it's worth trading for a guy like that because what he do? He knocked down shots, he defend, and he can slash to the run. What else could you want, you know? And once you get him to kind of escape dribble and take the uh, mid-range jumper, it's over with. So Josh Green, one of my favorite players in this draft, and I'll tell you about the guys in the next video that I don't like as much in the draft. So appreciate it. Check out the draft spotlight. got a few more coming um, between today and tomorrow. And if you want to check out my mock draft, uh, make sure you follow me on Sportscaster. The link's in the description. Create a profile so you can comment. And make sure, or if you want to watch me on YouTube, Goodfellas Sports TV 2.0 right now. 
Uh, but other than that, make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all the links in the description. Want to make a donation to the channel, cash app CJGood313, PayPal link in the description. Appreciate the love support. We gone.